Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this keychain with a maze for 3D printing in self-CAD using drawing and boolean operations. Union, to be more specific. To begin, I need a base. Select a cube, position it on the scene and scale it using the scale tool. 300, 5, and 200. After this, I need to move it to the center of the scene and focus the camera on top of our base. Activate the drawing tool. We have the following settings here. Edge style is currently set to beveled edges. And to see how it works, I will draw a triangle for example. Bevel adds an edge to the corner. Sharp edges will give you one sharp edge. And rounded edges will smooth out the edges. Then we have the corner style. There are three options here. Square, round, and flat. Note that if it's not a closed shape, then it won't make a difference. Basically, the edge style is strictly for polygons. Fill polygons is for filling the inside of the shape. So if I turn it off, you see the inside of the shape will be empty. And here it is filled. And the last setting is the decimal precision. Let's make it 100 to see how it works. You can see that the distance between points is larger. To see it even more, let's set it to 500. Here's the width setting. You can turn it off. Oh, now you see it didn't let me turn it off because the fill polygons was also off. Okay, now it works. And let's bring this down to 10. Height defines the height of the object after finalizing. There's also a move points mode, which allows you to drag the points of your drawing. You can't erase them, but you can draw with an eraser. Those points can be moved too. I'll cancel the current drawing and enter the drawing mode again. I'll use text drawing this time. I already have the text and its height set, so you just need to click on the plane you want to draw on and start dragging. Again, I can move them. Now, click the check and it gives us the letters. I'll make them a little smaller in the Y direction. and move them to the center of the grid. Again, let's focus the camera on top. Now, I need to scale the letters a little bit. Let's open drawing again. To draw our maze, I need to have the entire surface filled. For this, I need the fill polygons on. To continue, I need the following settings. Fill polygons should be off, sharp edges in edge style, square corner style, width 5, 
and decimal precision 100. And we will use the eraser mode. So the maze is ready, and I see that the walls are just a little too thin here. To widen them, I will use the fine polygons tool, and then scale. Those walls are actually too wide and I will narrow them. Now, we need to adjust the base according to the maze size. We still need the ring for our maze. Again, we will do this using the drawing tool. Set the rounded edges and rounded corners, and the fill polygons and auto precision should be off. Make the width 20, and with the eraser on, set the width 10. And I will simply click and then move the green point to the red point. The ring is ready. Let's move it. And now, we will unite all of our objects. To do this, I'll use the Boolean operation Union. Our keychain is ready. I just need to download it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.